Okay, so we're looking here at a probability that's going to involve some trigonometry. Um, first thing though, is let's read through the question. So we've got a diagram showing a circle, center O, radius 3.3. So I'll mark that on a diagram. I always like to have more dimensions on. So that also means obviously this side here is 3.3 because the radius is the same. We've got P, Q and R, our points on the circumference of the circle. And it tells me the arc length, PR, so this curve here is 2.2 pi centimetres. Work out the area of the segment PQR. So a segment is this section here. That's what we're trying to work out. Now, the way we're going to do that is we're going to work out the area of the sector OPQR. And we're going to subtract the area of the triangle OPR. Now, at the moment, I can do neither of those things because although I've got the radius, I don't know what this angle is here, the angle POR, um, that angle there. I'm going to call it X, imaginatively. So we're going to work out that as our first step. Now, because I know the arc length, I can actually generate the value of X. Once I know the value of X, like I say, I can work out the area of the sector, the area of the triangle, and subtract them to find the area of the segment. So first job, we know that the arc length is just a proportion of the air, uh, of the circumference of the circle. So I know that x over 360, that's the proportion of the circumference, times pi times two watts of the radius, two times 3.3, is equal to 2.2 pi. Rearranging of all the numbers, that gives me x over 360 is equal to a third. What I've done there is I've done 2.2 pi divided by pi times 2 times 3.3 gives me a third. So x out of 360 is a third, so x must be 120 degrees. So I now know the, the angle P O R from a diagram. So I'm now able to find the area of the sector and the area of the triangle. Let's move this up slightly. So if I start with a sector, that'll be the bigger area. So the sector is just part of the area, um, portion of the area of the circle. Uh, and I know it's 120 out of 360, or a third. So a third times pi times the radius squared, 3.3 .3 squared. And that comes in at 3.63 pi. It's fine if you've written that as a decimal, you write that as a decimal. Just a little thing. Obviously, try and remember when you're using your calculator on any problem, don't do any premature rounding. I've left that as an exact answer to help myself with that. Um, if you are doing this on a calculator and you've got the decimal, either use one of the memory functions or write out the full decimal for yourself so we don't lose our accuracy. If we now look, look at the triangle, so we're going to use this where our trigonometry comes in. We're going to use a half AB sine C. So a half times A and B in this case, both the radius of the circle. So that's 3.3 .3 squared times sine 120. Now, in this case, that doesn't come out as a nice number, so I'm going to write that as a decimal. It's 4.715. What I'm going to do is I'm going to keep that in the memory on my calculator. So then the segment that I'm actually trying to find, oops, too many lines there, um, is going to be the area of the sector, subtract the area of a triangle. So that's 3.63 i minus 4.715 and that comes in at 6.688473 so i'm going to give that as 6.69 centimeters squared and i'll work there to three significant figures this question hasn't given me an accuracy normally it would uh, three significant figures is a sensible degree of accuracy to work to.